In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to improve your on-page SEO. My name is Doug Cunnington. I'm the founder of Niche Site Project. I talk about Amazon affiliate marketing, internet marketing in general, and project management as well. If you're interested in that stuff, have a look around the channel. Please consider subscribing if you like what you see. Let's talk about the three on-page SEO tips I have for you. So number one, look at the competition. Go Google the term that you're trying to rank for. Check out you know four or so of the top ranked pages. See how long their content is. Is it perfect? Is it like a journalist wrote it? No grammar mistakes, really well written, compelling, exciting to read. Is it like that? Or is it completely generic and bland? So it's kind of a subjective thing to judge the quality, but when you read it and you read it like four of the top different sites, you probably will get a pretty good idea of the quality one versus another. And then you can check out and think about your own content and and is it on par? Is it better? Is it worse? If everyone's content is really good, you're probably going to have to you know, meet or exceed the quality that they have. The other part on top of the length is the keyword density. So if you use a tool like SEO Quake, you can quickly see the keyword density for you know, various different keywords that you wanna check out. So my recommendation is to you know, download that free tool, SEO Quake, and I'll put a link in the description, but basically you could take a look quickly and see the keyword density. So, so what you wanna do is analyze the competition. So if the top ranked sites are using a specific keyword, the one you're trying to rank for, I guess, a certain percentage of the time, say one and a half percent of the time, you probably should aim for that same keyword density. And this is one of the reasons why you know people ask, what's the ideal keyword density? It's hard to say, it depends on the keyword, it depends on the niche and a variety of other you know, variables out there. So the best way to figure it out is to literally look at what Google is deeming a good keyword density. So Google it, check the competition, check out that keyword density. The second thing you could do is add images. So as you're looking through the different content, you'll see probably there's a few images on the page. And generally, I think adding more images is a good thing. So just from a consumer reader perspective, having more images is usually more interesting. As you're reading the text, it's nice to have an image that lets you know, you know what's going on, illustrate a point, and stuff like that. I would suggest adding more images. And I would also suggest that you put keywords in the file name, right? So I wouldn't go keyword stuffing in the file name, but if you have some sort of you know keyword rich long phrase that describes the you know what's in the image, that's the right way to do it. Additionally, you'll want to fill in the alt text with some kind of keyword rich phrase and a caption as well. So all those things help add to the you know overall on-page SEO and improve it. At a minimum, I would say you should probably have like two or three images on any post. Depending on the post, right, there's no maximum. Like if it makes sense to have that image in there, put it in. The only consideration is, you know, you don't wanna have really huge, large file sizes to make your page load slowly. So be mindful of that, but otherwise you can put 10 images on a fairly long post and that'll be great. And the third thing is to embed YouTube videos. So I'm a big fan of this. There's a couple reasons why. So number one, from an SEO perspective, it does add some relevancy to your post. So if you're reviewing a specific product and you put a YouTube video on that page, Google and YouTube understand what that video is about and the type of people that watch that video. So if you can match that up with the content that you're covering, specifically if it's like a, a product review, that's great because then it tells uh, that video from YouTube tells Google what that page is about. And that relevancy is a good thing to have. It's useful for the visitor, right? So if they're looking for information on a specific product and you could put a video that is relevant and helps them understand that product or using the product or something like that, it's a good thing. 
And if it can help them, you'll get a third benefit, which is they'll stay on your page longer. That is really positive. So, you know, one of the ranking factors with Google is, you know, interaction from the visitor. Some of the interaction is staying on the page for a while. So if the visitor gets to your page, they click play, they're reading your content and they're watching the video, that's great all around. They're spending more time on your website. They're consuming videos from YouTube. Google likes that, YouTube likes that, and it's sort of good positive energy that you wanna have. So, quick recap. On-page SEO tips, you'll want to check out your competition from a word count perspective, take a look at the keyword density and the quality. You'll also want to look at the images, that's number two, so see how many images they have, add more images if you don't have many on your page already. And the third thing is to embed YouTube videos. It adds relevancy, it lets Google and YouTube know that your page, that URL is about a certain topic and it can help people stay on that page longer. Very good thing to do. Again, I'm Doug Cunnington from Niche Site Project. If you found this video interesting, if you like the tips and you want to get more details, you can go to nichesiteproject.com slash three, enter your name and email address. I'll send you these tips along with a few others on link building and just other things to help you get more traffic to your Amazon affiliate site. Thanks.